well, really the only ones that have it are, are people that we've mentioned, Ali O, Mel Lawrence, and then the big three. So pretty much everybody here that's American uh, is chasing that 950 mark. So uh, we'll be keeping an eye on the clock, and that's going to be the big one. And, again, it's a big deal for these athletes to not have to travel. Uh, of course, some, some traveling across the country possibly, uh, from back east, midwest, wherever, or even up, up north in the northwest. But it's a lot different than trying to chase down. I mean, and run by yourself. I mean, there's something to be said. You were talking about the pacing earlier in the competition. There's something to be said for the best of both worlds. I mean, getting your pacing and then also having a race at the end, no matter how long or whatever the race is, being able to stay with the pacer and kind of turn the brain off a little bit and uh, and then wake up and say, hey, wait a second, I still want to win this race, right? These are all competitors out here, and that might just get a little bit extra out of them uh, to, to push past those standards. So, again, really none of these gals, uh, the Americans, have that 950 mark that – or I'm sorry, the uh, the world standard, I should say. Uh, that's what I was talking about earlier. Those are just the handful that have the world standard. So a number of them will have the USA standard, but uh, if they could get under that 940, that would be even more impressive. So that's what we'll be keeping an eye on here. And, again, that 955 stadium record got to be out the window. Yeah, Megan Rowland, who's out front early. She's on the inside, number three, ran 935 at the Olympic trials, has had a tough couple of years, and has run one steeple earlier this year, Portland Track Festival, but she's looking to get back on, trap, on track to Humboldt State Division II All-American here out front early. Well, in the men's race, we saw John Gay pull away uh, and then fade badly in Oaks Ali. And Mikowski ran great races. Oaks Ali getting that win in the world standard. So we'll see how it plays out on the women's side. Again, as, as a lot of these ladies, I mean, I, I hate to harp on it, but there's just so few opportunities domestically to get a really, really high quality race. And uh, they're going to be happy to get quality pacing and, and quality competition here tonight. So Marissa Howard, as we mentioned earlier, she is on the outside. Has run 941 this year, 930.9 .9 lifetime best. So strong career for years for Mirza Howard. Her and Roland, two veterans out front. So still pretty bunched up here. So it is Howard in the lead. 229 at the end of two laps. And all the women moving well. You saw Stoner there of Syracuse still in the thick of the pack as well. But it is Howard and Roland. Megan Roland of Oizel here in this Oizel women's 3,000 meter steeplechase. Now starting to push the pace a bit. Marissa Howard. I don't know if they're going to be Anywhere near that world standard, At least to be honest. But they've uh, strung out a little bit here. As Roland has fallen off, but Marissa Howard's still moving well in the front. You see that K-tape there. I wonder if there's a little bit of a of a hitch there. She's taking the lead. Yi starting to move up. You see number eight on the outside. So Butterworth. Former University of Idaho standout. So Howard looks really good. Still trains in the Boise area. And Butterworth also in it. Nine forty-one on the year for Howard's. Continuing to lead over Reagan Yee. And now Maria Bernard Galea. Maria Bernard Galea in the mix as well. She's run 942 for Saucony, Canada. So these athletes are at least within that sniffing range of that 940. So Regan Yee and Butterworth are part of the Langley Mustangs, which is a Canadian team in British Columbia. So Howard. 
Reagan Yi holds a 9.29 personal best over the flat, 9.37 over the barriers. That was from 2018. So, again, that 9.40 range seems to be kind of the mark here. I don't know if they're going to be within that or just a sniff away from it. As you see Stoner trying to move up now and push that pace, it may have been gone a little too long. It might be a little bit off the pace. But they're certainly within their, they're within their wheelhouse to be able to run that 940 range. Some of them on the south side of 940 already, at least personal best-wise. You see that group. There's six that are, six that are there, three and three. Howard's doing all the work, and I wonder if it's going to be the same situation as Gay in the men's race as those three now starting to pull away a little bit. You see Stoner just trying to keep that gap closed, not let him get away at 5.47 with three to go. Not super smooth over the barriers, Howard's, but those top three now trying to pull away. There's Yi as well, and you see Bernard Galea. So the Canadians leading the way right now. High group of three up front there. Howard still, still stubbornly leading this race. About five, six meters back to Stoner, who again is trying to hang on, coming off that long collegiate season. 9.46 her personal best, so she would do well to stick with that front group. Alicia Butterworth moving up as well. So again, the Canadians doing well, along with Paige Stoner holding down for the Americans in that front group of five. We thought the top three would pull away, but they haven't done so yet. Howard still leading. Marissa Howard. So Paige Stoner running really well here. Yeah, we try to keep an eye on all the different PRs and the different goals and everything for the various athletes. Again, that 940 would be the world mark. So two to go. I think that's going to be a tough mark to get. Yeah, it might have slipped through their fingers a little bit here. But again, for Paige Stoner, long season coming here, racing well, trying to stay sharp before USA's. You have to imagine she'd be happy with anything that's a PR uh, and even within sniffing distance of that 940. Howard's still holding it down at the front. Yi and uh, Bernard Galea, her Canadian compatriots with her as well, as is Alicia Butterworth, also of the Langley Mustangs. And Stoner now on the back of that pack of five, which is quickly stringing out. Well, I keep doubting Howard's, but she keeps proving me wrong. Still hanging on that front. But I wonder if Bernard Galea and Yi are really just biding their time to pull past, as we saw the top two finishers do in the men's race, as John Gay of the Vancouver Thunderbirds led most of the way and then faded badly as Ali and Mikowski moved along to take the one-two spots. But here are the women. Coming into the final lap, it's still Howard, still five in contention. It's strung out, but they're still within striking distance. Howard seeming to speed up a little bit now as Bernard Galea coming into the final lap is still within striking distance, as is Yi, as is Butterworth. And Stoner still stubbornly hanging on. You see the gap growing now between those top two and Yi. I think Stoner, I think... Howard, rather, has a shot at that ni at that 9.30. I think she's got a crack at it. It's going to be tough, though. It's going to come down, down to the wire. So we're keeping an eye on the clock. Again, every turn, Howard's has turned away the challenger. But Bernard Galea is still there, as is Yi. You see them struggling to finish this thing strong. They're looking at the clock. It's a race against the clock. Top three are Canadian. Stoner moving now into fourth. She'll do well to be near that 940 mark stadium record. It has to be just obliterated. There's Bernard Galea trying to make a move, but coming off the water jump, holding her off is Howards as she comes into the home straight. Yi trying to make a move as well. Howard still pushing every turn. She's holding her off even stronger, driving strongly into that final barrier. They're coming over. Now Reagan Yi into the home stretch. She timed it perfectly, and it is gonna be Yi a strong finish, 9.35 for Yi. Look at Stoner as well in fourth. She might have gone under 9.40, and I think she did. So it looks like our top three, or top four, got that 
world standard. Reagan Yee of the Langley Mustangs going 9.35-49 to take the win. Perfectly timed. I thought that they had slacked a little bit on that on a couple of those laps in the middle there, but Maria bernard Galia of Saucony, Canada goes under 940 as well, 936-12. Marissa Howard, uh, uh, Howards of Ruja goes 936-46, and Paige Stoner drops almost five seconds off of her personal best all the way down to 930-10 to get that world standard. That's big. Yeah, and Butterworth just off of that standard at 